Good morning, everybody. So I was able to make it to the desk this morning and hopefully get a video in, maybe do one for tomorrow if I can. I'm finding that if I don't keep my foot elevated, it swells way up. <laughs> so first thing I wanted to show is I bought this little crafting iron from Amazon. It was like, it says travel dry iron there's no steam because I figured for the crafting I don't want steam anyways and it was only like nine dollars um eight something you know but by the time you pay taxes and everything it's a little over nine dollars so not bad a good size for I mean now because I haven't made foam flowers because I didn't want to have to pull out the big iron and all that but now I got it so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to plug it in and get it started warming up. And I think all the directions say, oh, I'm doing the Illusion Film Craft Club, by the way. <laughs> I might have forgot to mention that. So we want it on max. And supposedly this little dial just goes... In, and that should be on max. It turns okay, it's not. That's funny. Okay, off will go all the way, but max doesn't go to the very last click. But let's turn it to max as high as it'll go. And I'm going to set that over here. I got a spot. I made specially for it so that nothing gets burnt. I have a piece of parchment paper and it was actually the end of the roll. When I first seen it, I was like, oh no, because I can't drive right now, so I can't get to the store to get more, but I think this is going to be big enough to do what we need to do. I have a towel over here to iron on. This is that glitter. Let me open it because I'm not sure how much of the techniques we'll be doing, but I want to try to get as much done as we possibly can. Um, try as many of the techniques as possible while I have the iron out. So, um, okay, so the first one is for the stained glass window, and, you know, we're first going to take the window, remove one of your arched windows from the carrier sheet, take two pieces of gold, slightly bigger than the window, um, put them on top of each other, shiny side side down. Move warm iron over parchment for 10 to 15 seconds on both sides to fuse the film. Shiny side down on both of them or shiny side down that I don't know. Okay, so let's first find the arch. window. Let me move all of these out of the way. So let's try to find the arched window. It's kind of small. Okay. Just one, right? No. Yeah. Okay, so there's my arched window. And I need two pieces of the gold illusion film. Now I've never never used the illusion film. 
feel like I've had it, but I never used it. So I could be wrong. I don't know how important it is to get all the tape off, but let's just say that I don't think we want to iron tape. And they're saying a warm iron. I thought somewhere I'd heard the hot iron. So I'm just gonna do this. And I'm not gonna mind if it's a little bit bigger. But I do wanna make sure it's big enough. Okay. So right about here. And how high up do I want to go? It's flimsy, but it's not as flimsy as I expected it to be. Let me make sure this is right because it looks too small. Okay, it's a little big, so good. So I need two pieces. So I need one more this size. And if anything, I want to go a little bigger, right? Because I do want to make sure it's big enough. Boy, I don't know what it looks like on the screen for you, but for me, this is very blinding with the light shining on it. Okay, and shiny side down. Shiny side. I'm going to put... I would have swore they said matte side together. I'm going to do matte side together. Because for some reason, I did watch the Craig videos, and it seems to me that I kind of remember that he had said put the matte sides together. I'm going to see how warm this iron is. Okay. It's warm. It's, I wouldn't say hot. But it's warm. So now I'm just going to, should I bring this over so you can see? I'm just going to run it over a couple of times. I might have too much towel folded up, but I figured better safe than sorry here. Okay, let's see what we got. Sticking to the parchment paper. Okay, so now it's much um, thicker, it's not so flimsy, it's stiffer. Okay, apply tacky glue to your arched window and glue to your fused piece of film. Trim away the excess film. So I had my little bottle, where did I put it? There it is. Oh, but you know what I didn't do was check and make sure it's working. So let me just grab a scrap and make sure. Yeah, it's coming out good. Okay. All right. I mean, if you don't mind glue on your wrist here. You can um, apply the 
like glue there. That way. All right, now I'm gonna stick this in. Okay. And trim it away. Probably should have had smaller scissors for this. I just grabbed these. I always grab these. <laughs> Now, right now, I can see the glue where it smeared through through the film. See the little. So we'll see what happens after it dries. Unless we're just always going to be really careful to make sure that it goes to the outside, which is something we can do. Okay. So, there's that, and I do think that's pretty. I do wish the cut was a bigger piece to use for something, but that's okay. Okay, so instead of taking this now and making something with it, these pieces are not going to be big enough to do anything with. So right now I'm not going to do nothing with this. I'm going to move on to the next, the next one. So we, I want to see how all this works, right? So the next one is... Now, I wouldn't, I'm wondering what this looks like against different colors of paper, if that's going to ruin that look. Actually, no, it doesn't. So putting it up against paper, I'm not ruining the effect, but the different colors is probably going to make it look different. So, no problem with putting it up against the paper, I don't think. Okay. So, now, number two, we want a butterfly from the die cuts. So just one, remove one butterfly. Here's the butterfly. Okay, so now we have our butterfly, and it says to take two pieces of gold again, and the chunky glitter, and here's the chunky glitter. Place one piece of blue film, it said two pieces of gold film. Yeah, so the shiny side's supposed to be on the outside because here it says shiny side down, then sprinkle on some of the glitter and then lay the second piece shiny side up. So, it's not saying to use the gold or the blue. It's saying, at first it said gold 
but then it's saying put the blue and then so what I'm gonna do so we get the effect of all of it for this one I'm gonna just use the blue so that we could see what it looks like because we already see what just the gold by itself looks like we're gonna see what just the blue by itself looks like and then we will mix the two colors That one came out better. Okay, so I have my butterfly. Oh, it's still stuck there in a little tiny piece of tape there holding it together. A very skinny little bit of a piece. Okay, so now I'm going to get my butterfly. It's got to be a little bit bigger. I don't know if I want to put the chunky glitter in it. Because I'm thinking that I want to see what just the blue by itself looks like. And the next one, the fairy we put chunky glitter so for this one we'll just leave it just the blue so that we get a good idea of what just the blue looks like Okay, that's going to work. So I'm just going to cut this straight across. I don't know how many of you get the kits. I don't get the kits. I don't know. Um, okay, so we got just the blue. And it's got purple in it. You can see there's purple in it. Okay, putting it in the... That. Okay, bringing the iron over, which is definitely hotter now. Now, I heard someone say that the more you iron it, the crinklier it gets. We'll see that, too, because right now I'm going to give it a little bit more heat, right? Okay. Put the iron back safely away. No, it doesn't look any crinklier, but it's definitely hotter. But I wouldn't necessarily say it's crinklier. Maybe it would be if I had kept going. So now, I'm assuming we're just going to glue... Um, It says to draw around it. I'm not drawing around it. I'm gonna trim around it. Just like I did with the window. I'm just gonna put glue. Now, if we wanted to, I suppose, we wouldn't have to glue it all the way around. 
We could just glue the body. Oh, I didn't think about that. Oh. That's probably what they wanted us to do, too. Here they're showing you. No, it says adhere together with tacky glue. Create three more pieces of bonded film you can even mix. The colors of the film. And then I think it's saying, yeah, we can do layers, layers. This shows it layered. We're not gonna do that right now. We're just gonna look, so. Of course, the blue and the purple are definitely my favorites. All right, so I'm going to just come in and trim. Not so easy on the butterfly. It's got a few more. Crinkle cuts on it. That's why this would have been nice. If they just included the little dies, right? Then we could have die cut the film. You would probably have to use like a metal plate. In it. I'm mm, not going to worry about the whiskers. I know it's not whiskers. <laughs> I cut some of the butterfly, but you can't notice it. I love that. I love this one. It's to me way, way prettier than the gold. The gold one just kind of has some like green on it. This, this one, you can definitely see the different colors in it. So what does this do when we hold it up to different colors? Wow. See on a card, just glue this part down because I can see green, I can see purple, blue. I mean, oh, I love that one. That one's so pretty. That that blue color is just beautiful. If I do have any more of this, I'll definitely be using it on stuff because that's pretty. 
Okay, so now I want to try the technique with the glitter. So this is going to be the mermaid. Um, in this one, they do different colors for different pieces. So he uses the gold. I've seen him do the video and I'm trying to remember because I know the gold was the hair. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the two colors together. Let me get a mermaid. <laughs> if I can get it. Okay. So I have the mermaid. So here I want the blue with gold. So we're gonna do, come on. <laughs> Can't find the end of it. There it is. Okay. So this is gonna be here. in there so I need the piece okay that should work and let me get a yellow piece And again, I don't think I'm going to put the um, glitter in yet. I think I'm going to wait for the fairy wings. This one's going to be the mixed, the mixed colors. <sighs> okay, let me do it this way. Okay. Okay. So I want these two together. Then I want gold for the hair. I'm wondering if this long little strip here will be big enough. No. Okay, I'm going to do a bigger piece because I also want to do the bottom fin, I think, and the gold. I don't know why I'm cutting it so wonky and then pieces aren't usable for anything that are left over anyways but that might not be true okay so now we have uh oh 
See what I did? Okay, let's see. If I just use this straight part, can I get her hair and her fin in? I don't think so. <sighs> it looks like there is actually quite a bit. They say they give you quite a bit. And it does actually kind of look like quite a bit. So let me do this. You can hear the trash trucks going up and down the street. Sorry about that. It is a little late in the day for compared to when I usually did I do it again? I don't know if I did it again. I might have. I'm going to go ahead and iron these. And let's see what we got. And then I'll do some blue... And then I'll do some blue for the... I'm thinking that her fan in her hair needs to be in the gold. The body of her needs to be in the two colors combined. And then her little shell here can be just blue. Ooh, okay. Here. Oh, is the mixed, and that looks really pretty. And then, so I did have this wrong, and you can see it's sticking. That's not nice feeling. <laughs> That's all right. It still works. This one I had right. This one, you can feel the difference if you don't have it right. You, it's a feel. On this other side, it's kind of, I wouldn't say tacky, but it's got like some kind of a film thing on it. So this will be her fin. And that little body piece. You know, I might just go ahead and use this also for here. So, like that. I, I can cut it. So, let me get some glue on her. Oh. Missed that little piece right there. That don't want to when I come out. And then I'm going to trim it away.
I don't know, to me, it just seems like a waste. to put the glitter here on the mermaid when there's so much covered up from the scales. That's why I figured it would be better on the fairy. We're supposed to use the wire to form that's stuck down on her. The wings of the fairy and I'm a little concerned about that. Okay, and then yellow's gonna go on her hair in here. Okay, let me get this on her hair. I'm smearing that glue and put no glue down there. Sorry, I think I'm taking it where you can't see. Let me cut around here. I'm not gonna worry about doing it perfect because otherwise we'll be here forever doing this video. And I want to come in here and trim it off there. I'm gonna do here in the blue and on her belly in the blue.
Normally that looks the same. I didn't do just blue, did I? I didn't do that piece. Let me just do a little bitty piece of just the blue. Hope that stays closed. Bring the iron back and get some blue here. I don't know that they actually meant for the illusion film initially to be ironed, I wondered, because it seems like when they first did come out with it, they were kind of, um, showing it as just a light film, and then they kind of went to the ironing thing, so I wonder if originally their thought was just that it, you would use it just the way it is. And then maybe somebody was playing with it and said, oh, look, what happens when you iron it? So, I don't know. I've wondered, though. We had it, but it works. So that's just the blue. This was blue and yellow. This probably should be the blue and yellow, but I'm looking at the blue but just by itself, and I just really like that so much better than the mixed. I really just do. Of course, we're all going to be different with that. Everybody's going to like their own thing. The blue by itself gives off a more purple. Blah, blah, blah. I can talk. <laughs> gives off a more purpley tone. I didn't think this was going to be this much work. This is making our video pretty long, huh? Okay. And then I wanted the just yellow. Is this the just yellow? Yeah. On her here. So, let me just kind of go ahead and cut there, and the rest will be easy. Oh, 
<laughs> Very good. Didn't I cut the piece? <laughs> okay. She's almost done. Honestly, I think because we mixed the two, the color contrast is not that big of a deal. It's not showing like it would have. Uh -oh. Kind of moved. Or I missed it, that spot. No. I did miss a spot. Right in there. There's an empty spot right there. I think while I was cutting it, I moved it a little bit. But now I can't get it to move back. Okay, so there's the mermaid. Now we gotta do A fairy. I don't. This is the one I worry. I don't think I can make wings. So it's saying to take the fairy, of course, cut two pieces of wire, bend them into V shapes, and then we take the film, put it in, place one, and then the second piece. Uh, close the parchment. Uh, one should be at four and one should be at three and a half. That seems pretty big. I'm not going to do it that big. Well, maybe I need to do it that big if I want to put the glitter in. Well, let's just see. I'm not going to make a lot with this wire. <laughs> Oh, I didn't um, bring my wire clippers. Does this have a wire clipper? Oh, I can't reach. <laughs> I can't reach it. Mm, not with my leg, not with my foot. I can't reach it. You don't want to cut it with scissors because I mess up my scissors. Oh, I got it. Okay. That should be my four inch, right? Okay, and then three and a half. And that's approximate. But one wing is gonna be bigger than the other. Okay, we're gonna put them in a V shape.
wanting to turn it, but I don't want to cut it. The tip, there we go, okay. And then this one. They got the top longer than the bottom. And it curves, kind of. I'm just trying to trying to shape it a little bit with these, but that's not what these are for. These are for cutting it. I'm gonna cut that piece off. It's just gonna be a little shorter than it's supposed to be. Still bent wrong. I don't know how this is supposed to work, but here we go. Is this really going to be worth this? Like, I'm not getting a good V here. Okay, that's better. Yeah, it's not flat. I don't know if the iron's gonna make it flat or not. These are gonna be the worst fairy wings of all time. No, that did not help. Okay. We're just going to do it. So I'm going to cut this off and make it an even piece right now. Needs to go to about here. And it's going to fold over like that. So I'm going to take half, put this in. Let me scoot this closer so we can all, so you can see me do this. Okay, you can see. Don't judge my towel. <laughs> I just got an old whatever towel. Okay. These little bits. Now where I seen, he said not to put too much in. Because if you leave too much of a gap in between, it's not going to stay together. It's not going to stay fused. Now, what I'm thinking is, with the wire, how is that going to stay fused? Let's see. I know my iron's good and hot now. Using a tea light, we're gonna shrink the excess film from around the edge. I didn't do that. I didn't read that part. I didn't see that part. We're not gonna use, that's to melt it, I'm sure. I don't even have a lighter close by, so we're not gonna do that. <laughs> we're not gonna do that part.
Okay. So. First off. I can't even see the glitter in here. Did I melt it? I don't know. What I'm gonna do, since I did cut it and there's space in between there, but I do not see, let me, I do not see the glitter in here at all. I'm gonna iron it again now that I've cut it, just to make sure it's gonna stay together. But it seemed like pretty solid. So I guess I need to put more glitter in the next one because that one definitely, you cannot see the glitter in it. Okay, so we need to do that for this one. Same thing. Blue Illusion film. I'm starting to feel the edge, and they say they give you plenty of it. But if I can feel the edge, I wonder. I don't mean the edge, I mean the tube. You know how the tube is rolled and there's spots in between? So you can kind of see now, right here, the line where the tubing is. So I'm thinking I'm coming to the end of the tube. So, I'm going to put a crease in here. Okay. Now I'm going to put this in here. And I'm going to put a lot more of the glitter in and let's see what happens. It's a long video, huh? Yep, we're right about an hour. Not quite, but almost. We will be definitely in an hour. I hope my internet's working well. It went out the other day on me and they sent a message that it was back up and mine wasn't working. And they so they send you this text message. If yours is not, say, reply yes or no. If, you know. So I replied, no, mine wasn't back on. And I got a response from them. You need to call contact customer service. There must be something wrong with your thing. So I go to call customer service and there's a message on there that the internet's out in my area. It's like, well, that's funny because. Okay. This glitter, I must need to turn my iron down. Because it is not showing. And that was a big pile of it. And 
there was a big gap by the wire on that one also. That's why I'm coming back in with the iron. Okay, I think, see, it looks like there's a gap in here and I don't see the glitter at all. To me, it looks like the glitter is just melting away. It is just ground plastic. Okay, I'm gonna re-iron it just to make sure everything's sealed up. Since I cut it, Okay, and I'm going to turn the iron off. And I'm also going to unplug the iron. There we go. So, iron is now safe and sound taken care of. Okay, so here's my wings and where's the fairy I'm oh that is pretty it is what did they do Oops. So let's put some glue here. And this glue will hold it. It's just you got to put plenty on there and give it, let it time, give it time to dry. And then, oop. so I can tell I'm going to have to do this and they have the other one coming from like around here somewhere the smaller one so Can you see what she looks like? She's pretty. She is very pretty. I'm just going to put those clips in to hold her. Pretty. All right, everybody. So, there we go. How much of this is left? How much? I know I should be doing Oh, there is still quite a bit. I can still see it's rolled up, too. So, we're good. They did give us plenty on a roll. You know, you're only using a tiny bit. So, when you're making these things... I want to try it on my own where I can die cut it. I want to try die cutting this stuff and seeing how it works. Die cut. All right, everybody. If you like my video, please hit the like and subscribe button. What did I do with the other things I made? Please hit the like and subscribe button. And y'all have a blessed day. Bye-bye now.